Well, Title 42 ended 12 days ago, and while there was never a huge surge at Arizona's southern border, migrant shelters and border agents are still overwhelmed. Some lawmakers are blaming the federal government for lack of preparation. Kenny Dar has details. It's not a crisis that any of you are responsible for solving. This is 100% the federal government's failure. On Tuesday, Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema and Oklahoma Senator James Lankford led a discussion on how to address the consequences of the expiration of Title 42. My goal today is for us to identify some short-term solutions. The meeting took place at the historic Pima County Courthouse, where local officials from across the state pleaded for more resources as more migrants try to get into the country. We lack processing uh, uh, yes. people. Nogales Mayor Jorge Maldonado emphasized language barriers are a challenge due to an increase of non-Spanish speaking migrants, which is slowing down processing times. And you know, it could take anywhere from 30, 40 minutes, sometimes to an hour and a half for one person or one family. The situation is similar for migrant shelters. Following the expiration of Title 42, Casa Alitas was receiving as many as 1,500 migrants per day. However, that number has now decreased to around 500. That is still more than you should ever see in a shelter in Tucson. Funding issues are also crucial, as highlighted by several officials on the ground. It's an issue Senators Cinema and Langford aim to address as they try to persuade their colleagues in Washington to take further action at the border. It is incumbent on the federal government to enforce our current laws as well as communicate effectively and honestly. And it is Congress's responsibility to change the broken legal system so that we don't have this problem moving forward. Reporting in downtown Tucson, Kenny Dar, KGUN 9, on your side.